1111, welcome to Time Tower. I'm on the 10th floor. Let's go. It's time for a rematch. If, if you are worthy to go on the next floor. But this time, I have a dog. Let's yippee ki go! I said my tears is that It's hilarious. This is Zapion's tower, dude. Didn't know if you knew that. I kind of expected that. Okay, everybody's going back to normal now. Transform again. Where are the last obstacle? You may have beat us alone, but together, we're unstoppable! You'll never win!
We lost again? What are you made of? Well, I'm out of here. Super, he super herbs are quite literally the best healing item in the game, just like they are in the Tiger to Killer Space Cows. They're like elixirs, except they heal status conditions, too. There's a Z. So you made it here. Hattie, I presume you came here for the time pendant. Did you? You want to know about your history, don't you? Okay then. Hattie, the truth is that you were, you were once a pony, and you turned to a man for unknown reasons, even to me. That's all I know. I think there is one who knows more. R.W., the R.G. leader. I have a feeling that you two are connected somehow. You both appeared out of nowhere, and the thing is, I know even less about him. Well, anyways, it's time you get to the other reason you're here. The time pendant. I'm its wielder. So as you made, so as you made it this far, prove to me that you are worthy of the time pendant. Oh my dear Zizapian, we're about to fight Zizapian himself. Versus Time God Zapion. Oh. That's one way to start off the fight, isn't it? Start off with one of the strong. That was crazy. He that literally destroyed Mark. That actually scared me a little bit, to be honest with you. Ooh, I did a lot of damage.
I'm not feeling right. Bleah! Oh, this dude. This dude's just walking up all slowly. I told you that staying in the time vortex isn't good for beings of powerful aura to stay in. Someone like you should only stay in the time vortex for half an hour, tops. You have time sickness. I'm going to have to send you to Gallifrey to see if they can make you feel better, to make you, you better. As for you guys, you should get going too. Well, I'm leaving to make sure his Zapion gets better. Bye. Well, we beat his Zapion. Now, the time pendant. The moment we've all been waiting for. The moment we've... Aww. Did he not give you a time pendant? Yeah, what a rip off. Pendant challenge. You don't even get the time pendant. I guess you do get a reward though. No way, that makes sense. He's not able to give you a time pendant because he's sick. <laughs> There's your reasoning. Why don't you get the time pendant? Because he's sick. He's unable to give you the time pendant. Whoa, lag spike! Holy lag spike. There's the airship, by the way. I don't know if you've seen it before. Where's the dodge yet? Marks? Marks on his head. My boyfriend, the Zapion, told me to, to return here. Wait, is that you, Hattie? Huh? So you managed to beat the time god, eh? Oh yeah, there's something else. I think I'm gonna do this first. Now there's something that you can do before you go fight. I go to Rainbow Tower. That's what I'm gonna do now. It's probably gonna be the rest of the episode, but you never know. You beat the five Elysians? Cool, you get the Katana Seal of Approval. Oh, I guess you wanna hear some of my stories? First one is the creation of Omega. Meet me in the Cave of Time. Zapion will be there, and so and what, and so are Omega B in human form, of course. Well, he's gone. We'll be back. We'll, not, we'll be there where he's gone now. <clears throat> now he's in the entrance of it. As far as the entrance of the Emerald Forest.
And now it's time for the first of my stories, how me and Zapan created Omega. In 2090, which is 74 years from now, me and Zapan traveled to the beginning of time to create Omega. I wasn't reincarnated at this time, and there was a human with black hair and a, and a beard called Mr. Ryan. So the Malumian priestesses say this was to keep the flow of time running. It was not. We actually just tried to impress Gagaja so she would get back with Zapian. Why did you tell them that? Spoiler alert, it didn't work because Gagaja already had a new boyfriend. Still don't understand why she chose Enaz over me. Or anyways, back to the story. When we got back to the beginnings of time, there's white nothingness. Zapian decided to create Omega, and he had me create another being named Rainbow. Remember when, that when I taught you at that Bamboo School? Wait, then you went to Bamboo School. Anyways, after we had created the Omega and Rainbow, something started to appear and the Zapdown fled through time, leaving me behind. I did not know how to travel through time yet. The being arrived and there was an only possessed Yukim. I decided to use Time Seal, which petrified me into 2090s. That's basically the first universe. That's the, the, the first universe, so basically 1 trillion and 60 billion years. Well, that's it for the first story. Meet me and at Amber's house for the next story. My possessor will be will be with me there. Oh, I'm Omega. I can't say I've met face to face face before, Hattie. Came here by my list. Hello again, Hattie. It's been a good 98 years for me. That's because of time travel. 2114. After this episode, let me fix something real fast. I'm back. I just had to fix a bug. That way, it literally tells the story again. Well, I wonder if I even tested this back when I play test. I might have completely forgot. Hello, my name is Noi Possess You, Kim. I'm the Paradox Abbey, you can call me the cop in time. I came here by Merlin's request. I usually don't take requests from my enemies. <clears throat> but I made an exception here because of Absurd Man over there. I'm Absurd Man! I single handedly convinced Noi Possess to come here! Um, I'll be right back. I need some tea. Now, let's continue. Hello again. It's time for my second story, and today we have an unexpected guest. Introduce yourself, Lord. I'm a third man, former defender of playing a canopy. I didn't join for the first story because Gagaji had already told it to me. He also annoyed me to the point that I had to come here. Can I listen? Sure. It is your house, after all. Well, anyways, this is the second story. How I went from being a human to a cat in the beginning of my life as a cat. After I awoke from Time Seal, I tried to fit in on the planet I was on, so I refrained from using my powers and interacting with any beings that had a significant impact on time and space. I studied to become a history teacher, which was difficult at first because I barely knew anything about the planet. I didn't know that the planet had the same name as my incarnation's home planet Earth. Even though it was a different planet in a time that was long forgotten. After I became a history teacher over two decades later, I had three out of four Omegas, which were ancient Zane, Abby, and Nikki as students. Because of this, not long after they left the mercenary, I only possessed showed up in the middle of class. I remember the horror in everyone's face. And I also remember that I tried to fight back with all my power. I didn't even phase him. And he killed me instantly with Paradox 5. After he died, I sent a Dalek in a Dalek. Of course, I accidentally let Sam Jr. in. But let's just say the Dalek is dead and I had to become the history teacher. Until Rainbow started going on a rampage. Thankfully, I had the doctor send in another Noi possessed with his TARDIS. Anyways, my ghost floated to Mercenary, which was where spirits got judged back then. And they decided to reincarnate me as a cat instead of sending me anywhere because the only possessed just would just kill me over and over again. So I was reborn as a cat on that earth that was killed. I died in Maryland. I was reborn in West Virginia. 
Alice had an older brother, Nilram, and within a month of my birth, my owners were killed by Rainbow, forcing me and Nilram to live on our own. But one morning, Nilram disappeared. I was alone and confused, and then I had a dream during one of my cat naps. I was told that I was the new katana, or leader of the plush intelligence, and that I had to save plush kind. And then I woke up, and I could feel my power start to come back, and I could speak English again. Well, that's the end of this story. I'll tell my third story by the giant tree, so meet me there. By the way, the reason Tank said that Drama Alert was the best YouTube channel is because of the fact that I'm a Leafy fan, and he's trying to annoy me. <laughs> that explains a lot. <clears throat> By the way, check out Noi Possessed's channel. He's literally subscribed to four people. Me, Hadrasfan9, some other channel. <clears throat> might be, might be Rainbow Hoos, it might be um, Dragon. And then, he's subscribed to Leafius here. <laughs> The only big channel to subscribe to is me. <clears throat> Man, that's hurt. Oh, there we are. Lag! Come on, you bloody lag. Let me get on the ship. I don't want to get on this ship. I want to get on this ship. Hello again! Hi there! I'm Tank the Tumster Dogan! Hello again. I'm going to tell my third and final story for today. Rather, Tank is. Hello, I'm Tank the Tumpster Dogen, and I'm going to tell you how I met Merlin. Because everyone knows how Merlin met me. A false saint took me in one day, but my first owner, the guy couldn't keep me. <clears throat> Give me. <clears throat> Give me trap all of the pushes in what is called Eva Dimension. Let me call the Eva Dimension. <laughs> Can you guess what it actually was? <laughs> if you answer any of these, you know, it's like, wrong. It's like, wrong. It goes like, if I pick his bed, it's like, yep, you're always a sharp one. So when I got out of the plushes in the basement, he made me stand outside and attack any cats that showed up. But when did? Roll into Katana! I tried to fight him, but he told me to the point my tail was on fire. You might say I looked a lot like a Charmander. And I just realized that some of you might not know what it is, that is. Well anyways, I ran and finally put my tail out. Then I came back to the house and see, uh, to see that all of my toys had been taken away. False Saint tried to bring them back to life to attack Merlin. Less than an hour later, Saint sent me to attack him and I puked on. Then. And if all say not to saw eyes losing, he knocked me out of his eye beams. Look up and saw all my toys had been destroyed. I couldn't take it anymore. So I went up to Merlin and asked if I could join. Which I thought wouldn't work because I didn't couldn't speak English back then. And I could only speak dog. But he understood what I said perfectly and accepted me. We've been best of allies ever since. Not even death itself could separate us. And that's it. Well, I'm done telling stories for today, so I'm going back to Kurt's house. Bye! By the way, well, interesting thing. Take a guess what it actually was. His basement? See, Hattie says that. I just wanted to show you that it says that. Just making sure it didn't do anything weird when I told it sideways. Okay, man, I go.
gonna change this I'm gonna change this room's theme. Enjoy. That's your reward for listening to all the stories. That was the end of the song. <clears throat> so I hope you enjoyed me dashing around like a crazy nut job while having that song play in the background. Okay, it's time to go and refine my music. Rainbow Valley, home to RG's base, Rainbow Tower. Get out now, Hattie. Before it's too late. RW. Well, this is the overall one. Next time, we're going to Rainbow Tower. Bye.